Here we have to determine surface area of a flower pot which is a surface of revolution obtained by revolving a composite line with respect to y axis. Now this is my composite line which is composed of two lengths 25 and another one is this inclined line and revolving these two lines around this y axis you will be getting this flower pot. Now what is first theorem of purpose geldiness it, it states that the area of the surface of revolution is equal to the product of the distance through which the centroid of line moves and the length of the line. So first you require the centroid location of centroid and then you have to revolve that centroid around this y axis for entire 360 degree then you will be getting this sur particular surface therefore the equation will become area surface area will equal to 2 pi x bar because this centroid is revolved for 2 pi radians entire 360 degree and that's why uh, distance traveled by centroid is 2 pi into x bar 2 pi r uh, and L is the, to, to, uh, capital L is the total length of this line so length of this small segment and length of this uh, long segment. So first divide this entire line into two parts, uh, two lengths, length 1 and length 2 and therefore x bar equation of x bar will become L1 x1 plus L2 x2 divided by L1 plus L2. You can uh, write this in this form also. This is the centroid that is the uh, center of this line 1 middle point of this line 1 and sim similarly this is middle point of line 2 and their distance x1 is the distance of centroid of line 1 and x2 is the distance of centroid of line 2 this is the centroid of line 2 and its distance from y axis is x2 and this is the centroid of line 1 and its distance from y axis is x1 now in this right angle triangle now complete this right angle triangle and from this right angle triangle you can determine length of the line 1 because this length is 30 you can see that from this axis to this point this total length is equal to 60 and from this axis to this point is 25 plus 5 that is 30 so 60 minus 30 will be equal to 30 so base of this right angle triangle is 30 and height is already given this is 150 and from these two, uh, two information we can determine uh, length of this, uh, this uh, hypotenuse of this triangle let us prepare this table in this table there are two lines line 1 line 1 this long line and this line 2 line 1 and line 2 so length of line 1 is root over 30 square plus 150 square using uh, uh, Pythagoras theorem it is 153 and distance of centroid x1 x1 you can obtain now this base is 30 so this distance will be 15 now this total distance is 60 so 60 minus 15 will be uh, x1 so 60 minus 15 that is 45 is x1 now second one is lx multiply this column with this column so if 153 into 45 you will be getting 6885 now for line 2 length is given 25 and its center will be at 12.5 from either of the end from here 12.5 and from here also 12.5 now you require distance of this point from this y axis so this distance is 5 and this small distance is 12.5 so 5 plus 12.5 this total distance is 17.5 again multiply this x with l you will be getting 437.5 now add this to this column and add this column you will be getting sigma l equal to 178 and sigma lx equal to 7322.5 now apply this uh, so x bar you will be getting somewhere here in this line let us calculate that distance 41.1 so this distance from this axis x bar is equal to 41.1 you just uh, put this value of sigma lx that is this value divided by sigma l that is this value so you will be getting 41.1 now apply Pepper's Galdinus theorem put all these values total length is 178 total length of this line this small segment and this large segment sum this 178 when you multiply this you will be getting 46,280 mm square in this way you can use first theorem of Pepper's Galdinus for determining surface area of a surface of revolution thank you